Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my tech YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Today we are going to see the second part of uh, configuring Elasticsearch nodes using SSL connectivity. In Elasticsearch website, there are three methods mentioned for SSL connectivity. One is you can generate a CA for the nodes individually. That is, you can have a certificate for your node one of Elasticsearch, node two, node three, a Kibana certificate, a log slash certificate, etc. Right? That's going to be a little bit more tedious, right? Uh, the second method is generate a certificate authority and uh, certificates generally amongst your Elasticsearch nodes, which can be used as a common certificate in your cluster for Elasticsearch and Kibana. The third one is organizational certificates. Many products have their websites of their own, which are uh, trusted certificate based, right? So you can use those certificates to combine with your Elasticsearch nodes and generate some certificates for your nodes. Okay, that can be done. This is the third method. But the most ideal method and practically most simple and secure way is the second one. So you can generate some certificates for Elasticsearch nodes in Kibana and you can put them behind the Nginx or a load balancer. Let's jump right into the video and see how it's done. All right. So before we go ahead, uh, let me show you previously we saw that it's HTTP, right? So I would want to continue from there. If you refresh, it is not secure. If you refresh this as well, it's not secure. So everything is up and running with HTTP. Now, the first command that we have to use, let's follow this guide. Now, the first command is to generate a certificate authority, right? So Elasticsearch, pin Elasticsearch, hyphen cert util ca. So this is going to generate a certificate authority for me. The file name is yes. Okay, I don't have, want a password. All right. Uh, where would this file be? User share Elasticsearch. If I do an ls, I see this file over here, right? Now with this certificate authority, I want to generate some certificate for my cluster nodes. Okay, how do I do that? I'm going to use the same command and I'm going to type cert iphone iphone ca and uh, it's going to be this ca. All right, so it's asking me for the password. I did not give any password. The desired output file will be the same. Okay, no password for that as well. And if you do ls lrth you can see here, we have the certificates created as well. Let me clear the screen. Now, the next thing is uh, we need some node specific certificates, right? So the generic node specific certificate. So how do we obtain that? For that, we would have to use the same command, but with ending with HTTP. HTTP, enter. Do you want to generate a CSR? No. Do you want to use an existing certificate authority? Yes. The certificate authority is under USR, share, Elasticsearch, slash Elastic, iPhone stack, iPhone CA dot V12, enter. There's no password for it. For how long? Five years, ideal. Uh, do you want to generate a certificate per node? That is your Elasticsearch node and your Kibana. Yes, I want to do that. The node one name is node one, node two. So uh, enter the host names, node one, node two, Kibana, enter. Another enter. Yes, I want to give the IP addresses 192.168.245.3, 192.168.245.4, enter, enter. Yes, it's correct. Do you wish to change these options? No. Do you want to generate uh, additional certificates? No. Uh, password for this file? I don't want any password. For What is the file name? Yes, that's the file name. Let that be the ideal file name. All right. Let's clear the screen. ls lrt Here we go. We got the zip file containing all my certificates. Now, let's unzip it. Here we go. So as you can see here, we got the HTTP P12 certificate for my HTTP layer based uh, SSL connectivity. We got the Kibana CA.pem. This CA.pem is for Kibana to connect to your Elasticsearch nodes. And this is amongst, uh, I mean, in between the Elasticsearch nodes. All right, I'll show you the configuration file, how these things can be used. Okay, now before we do that, let me go to ETC Elasticsearch. I'm going to, make directory named CERT, okay? 
inside CERT. I'm going to copy those certificates here of slash USR share elastic search and we have elastic icon stack and we have USR share elastic of uh, elastic iPhone search. We also have USR share elastic search elastic search slash http dot p12 and we are going to copy it here ls iphone lrth as you can see here we have only read write permissions and you know the owner is root so we have to change this in order to avoid the permission denied errors on your logs okay ch ch own iphone r elastic search elastic search and that's going to be this directory okay now let me show you the configuration file here we go so as you can see here this was my previous configuration file okay i'm going to enable the expect security mode is certificate mode i'm going to use the certificate key store which is elastic iphone certificate dot p12 right this is the one and the trust to store is going to be the same so you don't have to change that http ssl enabled yes should be true monitoring this is for uh, self monitoring so there is metric beat based monitoring there's also you have expat monitoring enabled in your kibana so i'll show you this in the later part of the videos when we go through some monitoring of your own cluster so the next thing is your ssl right http ssl key store that is your http p12 okay the next is security is enabled yes ssl should be enabled yes all right let's save and quit let's do elastic search restart okay let's go to etc elastic search i don't have a cert directory so mkdar cert cdcert now i need to copy it from there but before that let me make some changes to the configuration file while the other node is getting started right so at yaml here we go let's uncomment all those uh, parameters that's used for security right so as you can see here everything is the same except the node name and the ip address okay so let's save and quit oh here we go so you can see that the other node has started successfully check the status yes it's up and running this is iphone tulpin 9200 yes that's the port is serving as well now if i refresh this it shouldn't work because it's now secure right so it should be http s colon slash slash enter here we go advanced proceed and yes it's asking me for the username and password since we did not generate the username and password this would be done in the later part right now let's go to cd sir scp uh i'm going to give a star because i want to copy everything right this is my name 132.168.245.4 colon slash temp in order to avoid permission denied errors right so i'll just pass it to slash temp directory here we go it's done uh let's check here ls hyphen temp okay now we need to copy slash temp elastic iphone star here the next thing is uh we need the http right so p12 okay here we go so now let's check the permissions yes it's the same so we need to do a ch own recursively elastic search group name also elastic search and the directory name is cert right so that's done let's do service elastic search status it's running now let's restart it and it should be up and running with https connections all right uh, this is not needed actually if you had used password for your http key store right so you would have to follow this step okay this step is only when you want to add that password but you can you can use that now because I haven't used any passwords. It wouldn't make any difference. 
so my cluster started directly it did not ask me for anything else right but make sure that if you give a password for this http.12 uh, p12 key store make sure to use this command so that you add that password okay to make it more secure all right so this step is done i copied the certificates to the other nodes i started the nodes now setting up the password okay sometimes you would face this issue that before the other node is started if you try to set up your passwords the first step while setting up the password is it will check the cluster health so in case the other node is not started and it does not find an a good uh, master right we had uh, in the elastic search configuration file we had given the uh, master eligible nodes right so if there's no master for that cluster and it's uh, it's not able to find it then you would not be able to set up the passwords so it's better that make sure both your nodes are up and running and one master is elected okay so for setting up the passwords you would have to use this command user share elastic search bin elastic search set up passwords there's auto and interactive so you can either set up automated passwords that's given by that's auto generated by your elastic search cluster or you can set up your manual passwords like this using the option that says interactive so i'll just show you what the command would look like okay i've already generated the passwords uh as you can see here this is going to be the command i'm going to use auto or you can use interactive like this okay so if i use auto over here you would get an error that i've already set up the passwords right so as you can see here failed to bootstrap password okay so let me go ahead and quickly try to open that okay okay so this is the password for my uh elastic search node let's see if it signs in here we go so we have successfully logged in to the elastic search node okay and we can also use the same password for the second node so it's going to be the same advanced proceed and here we go it has automatically logged in right so it's going to be the same okay i've already generated these passwords so that's the reason i'm uh you know i'm not doing it again go to etc kibana i'll show you the configuration file so for kibana as well uh you would remember that we already uh got the elasticsearch ca.pem where did we get that uh if you do ls usr share elastic search elastic uh, when you unzipped that zip for a uh, zip file right so you would have got this pem file over here okay so this pem file we would be exporting it to your kibana directory let me go ahead and uh, copy it to the kibana directory sr share elastic search kibana elastic search iphone ca.pem to my kibana directory okay let's say from lrth here we go we have read permissions for everyone okay nano kibana now i have given the password right we had already generated the username and password for it so make sure that you give the password over here okay uh i have to get the password which is under my tech creds so this is going to be the password use it like this and this is going to be the same now here comes the server ssl enabled okay now without this what happens so if i save this and i do service kibana restart let's check the status yes it's up and running it says i can tlpn 5601 it's not up yet yes it's up now okay now if i go to elastic search so if you see here it's still http right and it says your cluster is being initialized the whole point of uh, doing these things are to get an encrypted connection between the browser and the kibana server as well so for that we would have to follow another step to generate an ssl key store for your kibana certificate uh, kibana server as well right so for that you have to use this command okay it's pretty simple uh, after using this you can actually put your kibana server behind a load balancer and use your organizational certificate and it should be up and running properly okay let's go to usr share elastic search 
plastic search iphone insert util cert i'm going to use the name as kibana iphone dns so i don't have a proper dns with me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use https colon slash slash 192.168.245.3 colon 5601 that's going to be my dns and that's it so this should be it it should provide you uh, provide a valid ssl key store for kibana server now here we go enter the desired output file it's going to be the same name i'm not going to change it no password okay let's type in lrth and we got the file over here okay let's quickly ship this file into the configuration directory of kibana now let's check the permissions as well because we should not get any errors over here here we go we have read 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 okay that's perfect now let's quickly uncomment those configurations okay here we go so uh, the key store password it's empty because we did not supply any password okay now let's go ahead and quickly restart the kibana server and one more thing let's also check the kibana configuration file if there's any errors okay so we have it here we have it here there's no spelling mistake the password is over here this is the okay the other thing is we had changed it to https right so we just have to make this https connections and it should work perfectly fine let's restart it all right so it seems to have started now let's check the status yes it is up let's check the port number yes the port number is up let's tailor and yes all debugs and infos there's no errors over here okay let's cancel it let's refresh this page here we go as you can see here it's loading my page i'm going to mute this warning i'm going to use elastic and the password is the same login and voila it's logging in there's no errors or issues over here so this is how you configure your ssl uh, connectivity between your cluster nodes all right that's it with the video guys uh thank you so much for staying patient and watching the complete video give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on elk linux devops and sre based concepts